Hi guys, Frank here with Build Your Own. Today we're giving my 1994 Chevy Cheyenne C1500 with the 4.3 liter V6 engine some well-deserved maintenance. We'll be replacing the spark plugs, distributor cap, and rotor. This truck is part of the GMT 400 series, so this procedure should be the same for all gasoline engine GMT 400s from 1988 to 1998. Previously, I upgraded the ignition system with the Chevy 4.3 Firepower Ignition Kit from Performance Distributor, which included the Screamin' Demon Coil, Dyna Module, Live Wire Spark Plug Wires, and a Brass Terminal Cap and Rotor. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. Today, we'll continue to keep this truck running at its best by installing new AC Delco Gold Rapid Fire Spark Plugs and ensuring our ignition components are in top shape. Let's get started. Tools and Materials Needed Set of new spark plugs, spark plug socket with ratchet, extensions for the ratchet, gap gauge, torque wrench, new distributor cap and rotor, compressed air or bicycle pump, clean rag, safety gloves, and glasses. Before we do anything, safety is paramount. Make sure the engine is completely cool to avoid burns. Then disconnect the negative battery cable to prevent any electrical mishaps. While the engine cools down, let's prep our new spark plugs. Even if the plugs come pre-gapped, it's essential to check the gap. For this engine, the proper gap is 35 thousandths of an inch. Use a gap gauge to check each plug. Slide the correct thickness gauge between the electrodes. It should have a slight drag. If adjustment is needed, gently bend the side electrode using the adjuster on your gauge until you achieve the correct gap. Inspect each plug for any defects, like cracks in the porcelain insulator. Replace any damaged plugs. The AC Delco Gold Rapid Fire Spark Plugs are a great choice for this engine. They offer improved performance and durability thanks to their high quality construction and pure copper core. Now we'll replace the spark plugs one at a time to avoid mixing up the firing order. Remove the spark plug wire. Firmly grasp the boot at the end of the spark plug wire. Twist it slightly to break the seal and pull it off. Remember, never pull on the wire itself. Clean the spark plug area. Use compressed air or a bicycle pump to blow away any debris around the spark plug. This prevents dirt from falling into the cylinder. Remove the old spark plug. Place your spark plug socket over the plug and turn counterclockwise to remove it. Inspect the old spark plug. Check the old plug's condition. It can provide insight into your engine's health. Install the new spark plug. Thread the new spark plug into the hole by hand to avoid cross-threading. Once it's finger tight, use a ratchet or torque wrench to tighten it. If using a torque wrench, tighten to manufacturer's specification. Inspect the spark plug wire. Before reattaching, inspect the spark plug wire for damage, cracks, or corrosion inside the boot. Since I upgraded to Performance Distributor's live wires, my wires are in excellent condition. These wires can withstand up to 1400 degrees and are numbered for each cylinder. Reconnect the spark plug wire. Push the boot onto the new spark plug until it clicks or feels securely in place. Repeat these steps for each spark plug, replacing them one at a time. Next up is the distributor cap and rotor. Access the distributor. Remove the air cleaner assembly to get to the distributor cap. Remove the distributor cap. Loosen the mounting screws or release the latches on the cap. Carefully lift the cap off, keeping the spark plug wires attached, and set it aside. Inspect the rotor. Examine the rotor for cracks, carbon tracks, or wear on the tip. If it shows signs of damage or excessive wear, replace it. Replace the rotor. Remove the old rotor. It may be press fitted or held by screws. Install the new rotor, ensuring it's properly seated and aligned. Inspect the distributor cap. Check the inside of the cap for cracks, carbon tracking, and corrosion on the terminals. If damaged, replace with a new cap. Transfer spark plug wires to new cap. If replacing the cap, transfer the wires one at a time to the new cap to maintain the correct firing order. Remember, correct wire placement is crucial for engine performance. Install the new distributor cap. Place the new cap onto the distributor. Secure it with screws or latches. Reattach the air cleaner assembly. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Moment of truth. Start the engine and listen for any irregularities. The engine should idle smoothly without misfires. If everything sounds good, you've successfully completed the maintenance. And that's it. We've successfully replaced the spark plugs, checked the spark plug wires, and installed a new distributor cap and rotor on my 1994 Chevy Cheyenne C1500. Regular maintenance like this keeps your engine running efficiently and can improve performance and fuel economy. If you found this video helpful, Please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more automotive content. Got questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.